Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the last week for this module. Hopefully, we're going to finish today. So, uh, welcome to everybody. Thank you for being on time. Maximo, Rina, Rosemary, Jose. And there are some missing, right? Some people missing. So, we're going to continue right now with uh, section five. I don't know if you have finished um, the section five and final exam. Somebody during the weekend told me that there were some problems in section five in this part. This part was like kind of having problems, right? The part D, the reading in section in the final exam. It says, read the article, then choose the correct answers. Eh, lea el artículo, después escoja las respuestas correctas. But there is no article, right? That is the problem. So uh, I already uh, sent them a message. So if they, if they don't fix it, right, I think that you won't be able to do this exercise. But if you, if you want to, or if they tell you something that you need to complete it, I can give you the, the responses right now. For example, let's see. Yeah, this, this one is the response, right? People communicate with one another using words and body language. Body language includes postures, facial expressions, and gestures. A smile can show friendliness, interest, and sometimes politeness. And someone who points a finger at you may be angry. So those would be the, the the answers, even though you don't you're not able to read the this article, you will be able to submit it, right? If you have any problem, any doubt, right? I don't know if you have any other issue with the platform. Tienen algún otro problema con la plataforma? No teacher. No problems. Okay, I, perfect. I I uh -huh. had problem in the exercise. C in the final exam. Ah, okay. The last one. The last one. This one, C. The last one. Last one. Number see, three. See. Take off your shoes here. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. You're allowed. It seems that you're allowed to take off your shoes. You are allowed or you're allowed to take off your shoes here. Let me see here. You are allowed to take off your shoes here. Let's see another one. You are not allowed. Let's see. No. Teacher, yo en esa y en la número dos de esta no la puede resolver. This one is, is you are allowed to take, to take off, off your shoes period without mm -hmm. here seeing here and uh and the word here it doesn't appear no la no la pongan eso no la pongan solo you are allowed sure, pero eso es un mistake entonces it's a mistake yes it's a, mm -hmm. ya lo hemos reportado ya lo hemos reportado antes pero el sistema por eso es que yo se los doy así verdad no les digo es que esto es así, debería de aceptárselo, debería uh -huh. de aceptárselo, pero es un, es un error de cómo ingresaron las respuestas correctas. Ok. But, but leave teacher. it like that. Yes, leave it like that. You are allowed to take off your shoes, period. Uh -huh. Let's see another one. En la primera pueden poner, you have to turn out the lights before you leave. Or you've got to turn off the light, right? Pero en este caso creo que sería you have to. Let's see. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, la vamos a enviar para ver si la acepta con punto y todo. Enviar. Ajá. Uh -huh. You have to turn out the lights before you leave. Y la otra sería you can, ¿verdad? You can't eat or drink in the classroom. 
you can't. Uh -huh. So, como uh -huh. dicen, no eating or drinking in the classroom, you can do that. You can eat or drink in the classroom, period. Solo la uh -huh. última que es, no tienen que ponerle here. You are allowed to take off your shoes, period. Solo así. Okay. Okay, another question. Any other problem with the platform? Can you show the answers of the next exercise? This one, the, the reading. Yeah, the last one. There is no reading. There is no article to read. Yes, this one is number one is words and body language. Number two, body language includes postures, facial expressions, and gestures. Number three, a smile can show friendliness, interest, and sometimes politeness. Four, someone who points a finger at you may be angry. Y esas serían las respuestas. Sí, porque alguien así me dijo, no, no se ve, teacher. Entonces, but I'm so sorry for the, the issues. But uh, we will try to fix it. Ya les mandamos la información para que traten de arreglarlo. Y vamos a ver si lo arreglan, ¿verdad? Okay. We are going to finish with the topics just in case that you have any problem, any doubt. Vamos a seguir con las, con la información que tenemos para hoy en caso de que tengan alguna duda, alguna pregunta. Déjenme ver. This one. Uh -huh. Okay. So we were studying last week about the second conditional, right? I guess that the, that was section five. Let's see here. Yes. What would you do? So we're going to review. Uh, we checked a uh, conversation to review. We are going to review also this this part, right? Unreal conditional with if clauses. I guess that you already watched this video. Creo que ya vieron este video. Así que solo lo vamos a ver para repasar, ¿verdad? Hi, are you ready to describe it? Are you able to listen to it? Yes. Okay. Imaginary situations, you will learn to do so after the audio program on our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if, plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might, plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. 
Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring? If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? Type your answers as well in a discussion box. Okay, very good. So uh, that was just a review for the second conditional, okay? That was what we studied last uh, week on Friday, the second conditional. We uh, watch or we check the zero con conditional. Also, the first conditional, that is to, to predict something that possibly will happen. And also the second conditional, right? The second conditional that is the one that uh, we are studying right now for uh, hypothetical or unlikely situations. So I guess that you don't have any question about that, right? No preguntas acerca de eso. Because this is the... Everything for me. Everything's clear. Okay, perfect. So um, in this case, this is the information that she mentioned. Esta es la que acabamos de ver. La información que acaba de mencionar. El grammar structure, ¿verdad? The if clause, if más el pasado simple, if plus past simple, and the main clause, la cláusula o la oración principal. Would, could, might, plus verb. Esta se dice main clause o oración principal porque es la que tiene sentido por ella sola. Y la if clause es la dependiente porque no tiene sentido por ella sola. Y hablaba acerca de la puntuación, ¿verdad? Si la if clause va primero, se le pone coma, pero si va después, no se le pone coma. Eso es lo que decía ahí. Ok, let's see. Let's see if we remember how to answer these questions. Máximo, what would you do if you were on a trip to another country? Yes, Maximo, go ahead. Mm -hmm. What would you do if you were on a trip to another country? I will visit the cathedral. Okay, which, ca which cathedral? The most important in the city. Ah, oh, the most important. Do you like to visit cathedrals? Yes. Okay, very good. Perfect, perfect. Yes, actually, they are really beautiful, really big, right? And a lot of history. Very good. Maximo, choose someone else. Patricia Rodriguez. Patricia Rodriguez. Okay, Patricia. What would you do if you won the lottery? What would you do, Patricia? Good evening, teacher. I could buy shoes and clothes and I travel the other country. I visit United States in a specific Disney World with my son. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So you will buy a lot of uh, shoes and clothes. You will travel different places and Disney World with your son, right? Yes. Very good. Very good plans. Very good. Patricia, choose someone else. Alguien más, Patricia. Jose Moises. Okay, Jose Moises. Uh, what would you do if you have to move to another city? What would you do? Well, uh, I could find a new job. Very good. Yes. If you have to move to another city, you could find a new job. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Jose Moises, choose someone else. Um, Sonia Araceli. Sonia Araceli. Are you there, Sonia? Sonia, are you there? Can you use your microphone? Yes. Okay. Uh, tell me, what would you do if you saw a car accident? Um, yes. 
uh, every day. <laughs> <laughs> every day, right? Yes. And and what would you do? ¿Qué haría usted si hubiera un accidente de, de autos? What would you do? Um, si fuese posible, ayudar. Okay. If, uh -huh. <laughs> okay, very good. So if it is if you saw a car accident, you will help these people or you will get away from the car accident. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Sonia, choose someone else. Alguien más, Sonia. Josemith. Okay, Josemith. What would you do if you decided to get a pet? If I decided to get a pet, I I wouldn't or I would or not get a cat. Okay, if you decided to get a pet, you couldn't get a cat. No. Why? You don't like cats? I'm allergic. Ah, you're allergic. <laughs> you're allergic to cats. Ah, okay, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jasmith, choose someone else. Um, Rosemary. Okay, Rosemary. What would you do if you someone being mugged? Being mugged means que le están robando, que le están sacando la cartera, algo así, verdad? What would you do if you saw someone being mugged? Mm. I know, <laughs> nothing. You wouldn't do anything like. Um, or would you would you call the police? Would you tell someone? Would you tell this person, "Hey, you're being mugged"? What would you do? Nothing. Um, teacher, uh, it's difficult. <laughs> Yes, it is difficult. It's difficult. In, the, in this moment. No sé cuál sería mi reacción porque eh, mm -hmm. quizás en el momento a uno se le ocurre ayudar, pero mm -hmm. en el tiempo puede que uno por ayudar también, también se perjudique, entonces no sé. Yes, it is true. So you, 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 didn't, you wouldn't know what to do. No sabría qué hacer. No. Okay, very good. Yeah, that's a good response. Because some people will say, hey, le están robando, mire, tenga cuidado, ¿verdad? Or probably, hey, call the police, right? Uh, someone someone needs help, right? But very good. Yeah, you, it, it depends on the situation. It, it's correct. Very good. So these are unreal activities. Uh, thank you, Rosemary. Unreal uh, situations, right? No activities. So these, uh, as you already know, these are unreal conditional sentences with if clauses, the second conditional. And we use it to talk about an imaginary or impossible situation with a possible consequence. Like this one, if she found a lot of money, she might give it to the police. If you had babies, you wouldn't have much free time. If I were rich, I could travel around the world like, like you already mentioned. So for, exa for example, if I studied my class, I will pass my exam with a good grade. If it is snowed in El Salvador, we can make snowmen. If I sold my car, I will probably buy a bigger one or a newer one. If it rained in El Salvador, probably I couldn't work. If flying cars existed, there would be no traffic. So these are some examples, right? So we are going to listen more examples with this conversation. Actually, it's very similar to the one that we listened before. Se parece a la que escuchamos antes, pero la vamos a escuchar, ¿verdad? Solo para, para tener como un ejemplo más. Se parece a la que ya escuchamos antes. Que déjeme ver. Let me look for it. Yes, it's here. Here we have a conversation between June and Mia. 
They are discussing about a story of honesty. Let's listen to them. Unit 15. I wouldn't have done that. Page 100. Exercise 2. Conversation. What would you do? Part A. Listen and practice. Look at this. A homeless guy found a backpack with $40,000 inside. And what did he do? He took it to the police. He gave it all back, every single penny. You're kidding. If I found $40,000, I wouldn't return it. I'd keep it. Really? What would you do with it? Well, I'd spend it. I could buy a new car or take a nice long vacation. The real owner might find out about it, though, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Okay, very good. This is the conversation, right? How many if clauses or uh, how many if sentences can you find? ¿Cuántas oraciones con if pueden encontrar en la conversación? It's just one, right? Solo hay una, creo, ¿verdad? Yes, only one. Not. Yes, what is that, that sentence? Mia said. Yes, exactly. You're kidding, right? If I found 40,000, I wouldn't return it. I'd keep it, right? Remember that I'd keep it is the contraction for I would keep it, right? And then with would, would is a modal verb. Uh, podemos encontrar what would you do, que harías? I'd spend it. I could buy a new car or take a nice long vacation. I could, could es otro modal verb, ¿verdad? I could, podría comprar un carro nuevo. I could buy a new car or take a nice long vacation. Also might, uh, siguiente oración, ahí dice might, es un modal verb también. The real owner might find out about it. El, el dueño real podría saber, ¿verdad? Acerca de esto. And then you could go to jail. Y podrías ir a la cárcel. You could go to jail. So, para responder o para la, la otra clause, la main clause, utilizamos modal verbs, ¿verdad? Would, could, might, right? It's a, because it's a possibility. Very good. Now, let's see. Now, this is just uh, an example, right, for conditional sentences. This is uh, the formula. Ya vimos que esta es la condicional y estas son solo fórmulas, ¿verdad? If, sujeto, past verb, el verbo en pasado, y complement. Eso sería con el if, la imaginary or unreal situation, y the possible consequence, right? She would, could, might, and verb. Y aquí abajo pueden ver que están, pues, cambiadas, ¿verdad? Teacher. Ahí ya no van con la coma. Yes. In the first conditional, why the verb is in present? Oh, because it's telling you, it's not telling you an unreal situation. It's telling you a real a possibility, algo que de verdad podría pasar. Por ejemplo, if you don't complete the platform you won't get your diploma right si no completan los ejercicios de la plataforma o la plataforma no les darán el diploma eso probablemente podría pasar verdad si alguien no ha hecho ningún ejercicio verdad o si no completa uh, solo completa uno o dos eso le va a pasar entonces eso realmente most likely will happen eso va a pasar este eh, es una posibilidad que tiene como el 80 o el 90%. Esto no, esto es algo irreal que podría pasar un 40, un 20. It depends, right? Es por eso que la first conditional es, es diferente como se conjuga. Si usted hace esto, le va a pasar esto, dice la primera. Pero la second, si usted fuera, podría hacer esto, ¿verdad? Si usted ganara, Podría viajar, ¿verdad? That is the difference. Esa es la diferencia. La conjugación. Very good question, Maximo. So, as you already know, you can write the first conditional first, write the, the, the if clause. Pueden escribir la que va con if primero. Y después 
eh, el resultado, el, la, la consecuencia, o al, al revés, ¿verdad? Y cuando es al revés, no lleva coma. Por ejemplo, if you were invisible, you could travel on an airplane for free. Or you could travel on an airplane for free if you were invisible. So aquí tenemos los dos ejemplos. Now, let's see if we have understood. Now, help me to, um, to complete this exercise, right? This is just an exercise. Number one, if you have three months to travel, where you go? ¿Cómo completo esta oración? How will be the complete sentence? If you have, if, uh -huh. you if you had, uh -huh, uh -huh, exactly. Will, where would you go? Where would you go? You go, exactly, very good. Would, el modal verb, y después el verbo en presente. Exactly, very good. It says, oh, that's easy. I fly to Europe. ¿Cómo sería aquí? I would. Uh -huh. Fly, right? I will fly to Europe. Exactly, very good. Number two. If your doctor tell you to get more exercise, which you choose, how can it be the response? Told. Told, okay. If your doctor told you uh -huh, to get more exercise, which would you choose? Very good. Would you choose right and choose is in present right very good and b it says i'm not sure but i go jogging two or three times a week in here i go very good i would or i'd go very good perfect and the last one What would you do if your teacher give you a 10 by mistake? Gave. Gave, a very good. Gave you a 10 by mistake. Of course, I say something right away. Would say. Exactly, would say. Very good, perfect. So I see that you have understood, right? This will be the second conditional. And as you can see, these are unreal situations. Perfect. Now, we are going to increase our vocabulary. Vamos a ver más vocabulario, ¿verdad? We have here uh, two opposites, right? Antonyms, opuestos. For example, accept and refuse, right? She accepted the ring that Mario gave her. Laura refused to listen to her mother, right? Aceptar, rechazar, accept, refuse. We have another one. Admit and deny, right? The criminal admitted that he stole the woman's phone. Deny. He couldn't deny that the boy was his son. They look alike. You know the meaning of these ones? ¿Saben cuál es significado? Admit and deny? Yes, right? Admitir, admitir ah. y denegar. Ajá, admitir y negar. Y negar. Exactly. Uh, admitir y negar. Very good. Perfect. We have another one. Agree and disagree. Nick and I agree that the new project is good for the company. And disagree, Mike and Jake always disagree. That's why I never ask them. So what is the meaning of agree? ¿Qué significa agree? De acuerdo. Ajá, estar de acuerdo and disagree. Desacuerdo. Estar en desacuerdo, exactly. Very good, perfect. Next one. Let's see here. Borrow and lend. Borrow. I'm going to borrow Maria's car to go to the airport. Lend. 
the bank will lend me money that I need to buy a car. What is the meaning of borrow? Como pre pedir prestado Prestar. a un amigo. Exactly, el pedir otro prestado. Como pedir prestado ya como formalmente. Mm, algo así, ajá. Otro, otro significado. Ajá. Por ejemplo, en el ejemplo uh, dice, I am going to borrow Maria's car to go to the airport. Entonces, borro es pedir prestado, como dijeron, ¿verdad? Pedir prestado. Le voy a pedir prestado el carro de María para que vayamos al aeropuerto. ¿verdad? Pero lend es dar, dar prestado. The bank will lend me the money that I need to buy a car. El banco me prestará, me, me va a dar prestado el dinero que necesito para comprar un auto. So, borrow es pedir. I will borrow you. Pero usted me va a dar, ¿verdad? Me va a dar prestado. Lend me. You will lend me. I borrow, you lend me. Or you can borrow and I will lend you, right? So that is the difference. Borrow es pedir prestado. Y lend es dar prestado. Very good. Next one. Enjoy. We enjoy spending time with our kids. Dislike. I dislike waking up early on weekdays. What is the meaning of in enjoy? Disfrutar. Disfrutar and dislike. Que no le gusta. Que no disgustar. le gusta. Disgustar, me disgusta, disgustar. que no le gusta. Exactly. I dislike waking up early on weekdays, right? Very good. Next one. Find, lose. I found a wallet with some money on the street last week. Y Luz, Maria lost her phone. She doesn't know where she put it. Find, ¿qué significa? Encontrar. Encontrar. Y Luz? Perder. Perder. Perder, exactly. So we're talking about opposites, right? We have marry and divorce, right? This is easy, right? Javier is going to marry... Dana on December 25th and they want to divorce because they have many problems. So this is the opposite, right? Mary is? Esclavizarse. Esclavizarse, right? Very good. Mary. Casarse, right? Mary. <laughs> and divorce? <laughs> what is divorce? Separarse, Liberarse. Divorcer. Liberarse. Liberarse. <laughs> no, Free. Divorce, yes. Free. Free, right? No, it's divorce, it's divorciarse, <laughs> marry, es casarse. Very good, Maximum. Okay, let's see the last two. It says save and spend, right? Save. I am saving money to buy a house. Is spend, Marina likes to spend money on clothes. ¿Qué significa save? Ahorrar. Ahorrar and spend? Gastar. Gastar, very good. And the last one is forget and remember. I always forget to call my mother on her birthday. And remember, do you remember when you were a child? So what is the meaning? Olb eh, olvidar. Olvidar and remember? Recordar. Recordar, very good. So we are talking about opposites, right? Forget, remember, enjoy, dislike, uh, find, lose. So... Let's see. I I didn't. I don't think that we have more, right? For example, uh, in this chart, I don't know if you can see it very well. We have this um this opposite, right? So we need to complete it. For example, accept is refuse, right? Admit. What is the opposite of admit? Deny. Let's see if you remember. Deny exactly. Deny. Agree. What is the opposite of agree? Disagree. Disagree, exactly. What is the opposite of borrow? Lend. Lend, exactly. What is the opposite of dislike? Enjoy. Enjoy, Enjoy exactly. What is the opposite of divorce? Mary. 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 Very good. What is the opposite of fine? 
Lose, exactly. And what is the opposite of forget? Remember. Remember, very good. And the opposite of refuse. What is the opposite of refuse? Upset. Accept, uh-huh. And what is the opposite of save? Spend. Spend, yeah. very good, perfect. So I see that you have increased your vocabulary. That is another way to learn vocabulary. Esta es otra manera de, de aprender vocabulario, ¿verdad? Si sabemos cómo se dice una cosa, tratemos de encontrar cómo se dice lo opuesto, ¿verdad? So for example, accept, how, how do you, uh, refuse, what is the opposite, right? Refuse. A merry divorce, right? Uh, enjoy, what is the opposite of enjoy, dislike, right? So that is another way to learn vocabulary. Uh, you can do this, uh, try to investigate more opposite and try to write a sentence with them, right? If you, if it is possible, try to bring more opposite for tomorrow, that is the last class. Okay, now it says by the end of this class, participants will be introduced to past models in order for them to talk about actions in the past. So we're going to talk about uh, past models. Let's see here. It says, listen to people talk about recent predicaments, then check the best suggestions for each one. Entonces vamos a, a, a oír predicaments, que son como problemas, ¿verdad? Y vamos a ver cuál es la mejor solución. What is the best suggestion, la mejor sugerencia? It says, what a disaster. I spilled juice on my parents' new couch. They weren't home, so I just turned the cushions over. What should I have done? You should have told them about it. You should have cleaned it immediately or you should have offered to buy them a new couch. What is the best suggestion for you? You should have cleaned it immediately. Very good. You should have cleaned it immediately, right? Yes, exactly. He thought that that was the best solution, so that's what he did, right? But I guess that that is the best suggestion. It's very good. Next one. I forgot my best friend's birthday. I felt terrible, so I sent him a text to apologize. What would you have done? I would have called him right away. I would have sent him a nice birthday present, or I would have invited him out for a meal. What would you have done? ¿Qué hubieran hecho ustedes en esa en ese predicamento, en that predicament? I I would have invited him out for a meal. Yes, I would have invited him out for a meal. Yes, that's a very good suggestion. Exactly, right? Because to call this person uh, it's almost the same, right? Like to send him a text or send him a, a nice birthday present. I guess that that would be, that would be okay. That would be the best suggestions. Very good. So these are past models. Estos son los models. Antes vimos los models con la second conditional. Y estos son past models to give suggestions. Aquí estamos dando sugerencias, ¿verdad? What should I have done? ¿Qué debería de haber hecho? Eso es lo que significa. What should I have done? Y si yo les pregunto, what would you have done? ¿Qué significa eso? What is the meaning of that? ¿Qué habría hecho? Ajá, ¿qué habrías hecho tú, verdad? What would you have done? Si yo les digo, you should have told them about it. Deberías de haberles dicho acerca de eso, verdad? You shouldn't have hidden it. No deberías de haberlo escondido. I would have called him. Yo los habría llamado. I wouldn't have sent him a text. No le habría mandado un texto. Entonces, es lo que yo habría hecho, ¿verdad? Es como dar una sugerencia. 
o, o cuando alguno nos pregunta, ¿y qué, ¿y qué podría hacer, verdad? What would be the, the best suggestion, right? What is your advice? Um, then you will say, I, I should have done this, I would have done this. Um, you should have done this, right? Let's see. It says, esta es la fórmula, ¿verdad? Subject plus would have or should have plus past participle. Para usar esto tenemos que saber los past participles, right? I would have eaten more vegetables. Eaten is the past participle of eat, right? Hubiera, me hubiera, hubiera comido más vegetales. I would have eaten more vegetables. And for questions, WH, so what, right? Plus would, should, plus subject, plus have, plus past participle. ¿Cómo es una oración así? Aquí tenemos un ejemplo, ¿verdad? What should she have said in the class? ¿Qué debería de haber dicho ella en clase? Do you have any questions about this, the past models? ¿Preguntas? Everything's clear, right? Very good, perfect. So this is like to give advice, right? Should I plus verb, right? I think you should and the verb, right? What do you think that this person would have done? I don't think, porque también podemos eh, en negativo, I don't think you should have done right, right. I think you shouldn't. Esto no, we don't use shouldn't with I think. No ocupamos eh, yo creo y you shouldn't, ¿verdad? I think you shouldn't. Should I buy the red shirt or the blue shirt? Debería de comprar la camisa roja o la azul. I think you should buy the red one, right? I think you should buy the red shirt because it's nicer than a blue one. Podemos dar también más información. So esto lo vamos a repasar mañana. Let me see if we have something else. Okay, now help me do this, right? Esta pueden apuntar ustedes las preguntas porque después vamos a ver las respuestas, okay? It says, complete this conversation. Complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. Number one, let's see, Jasmine, can you read number one, please? Jasmine, are you there? Sorry, my microphone was. Wasn't yet, <laughs> was okay. Uh, the cashier gave me too much, uh, too much change. Mm -hmm. What should I, what should I have? The, uh, the. Uh, the past participle of do. What is the past participle? Done. Done exactly. What should I have done? And what is the response, Jasmine? You should, uh, you should have say something you mm -hmm. shouldn't take in the money very good perfect the cashier gave me too much change what should i have done you should have said something you shouldn't have taken the money perfect just me choose someone else let's go have you mass uh, maximo maximo number two can you read number two maximo Okay. I ignored an email from someone I don't like. What would you have done? Mm -hmm. I will have replied to the person. I just take a minute. Very good. What would you have done? I would have replied to the person. Perfect. A Maximo, choose someone else. Dígame alguien más. Sonia Araceli. Okay, Sonia Araceli. Uh, read number three, please. Wendy Abigail. Okay, Wendy Abigail. Are you there? Wendy? Yes, no? Sonia? Hello, Melissa. I'm sorry. Oh, Sonia, okay. Your Sonia is there. Okay, Sonia, go ahead. Read number three, please. Is you shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. Oh, is. Okay. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have 
No, can... but uh, the first, the, the number three, I was watching a good movie. Uh huh. I was watching a good movie when my phone rang. Mm -hmm. What show I have? I have done. Done. I have done. Uh, I will have. You should have. Uh huh. I don't remember the the past participle of reply. Oh no, the number three. You should you should have oh, take. Sorry. What is the past participle of take? Taken. You take should it. have taken mm -hmm. the call and tell the person you call back later. Exactly. Uh huh. You should have taken the call and told the person you'd call back later. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Very good. Sonia, choose someone else, Sonia. Rina? Rina, okay, the last one, Rina, number four. Number four, we left all our trash, our trash at the camp site. What will you have done? Mm -hmm. I will have taken, taken it with me and throw it away later 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 very good very good i would have taken it with me and thrown it away later so these are the the sentences right complete the cashier gave me too much change what should i have done you should have said something you shouldn't have taken the money Así que vamos a, a tenemos que ocupar o saber cuál es el past participle verdad it says, I ignore an email from someone I don't like. What would you have done? I will have replied to the person. It just takes a minute. I was watching a good movie when my phone rang. What should I have done? You should have taken the call and told the person you'd call back later. And we left all our trash on the campsite. What would you have done? I would have taken it with me and thrown it away later. Thrown es el past participle de throw, ¿verdad? Thrown. Very good. Let's see. Okay, we are going to read the situation and you will give me the suggestion, right? What will have been the, th the best thing to do? For example, number one, it says the teacher borrowed my favorite book and spilled coffee all over it. Suggestion, what is the best suggestion for number one? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. B? Yes, probably B, right? Yes, exactly, because it says, I would have spoken to the teacher about it. Spoken, that is el past participle of speak, right? Um, habría, yo le habría dicho al teacher, ¿verdad? Al profesor de esto. Very good. Number two, I saw a classmate cheating on an exam. So I wrote her an, uh, an email about it. What is the best suggestion? E. E. Ah, very good. You should have warned her not to do it again. Sí, deberías de haberle advertido que no lo haga de nuevo. Very good. Three. A friend of mine always has messy hair. So I gave him a comb for his birthday. What would be the best suggestion? What would be the best? Number D, I think. Yeah, letter D. I wouldn't have said anything, right? Because that's the appearance. Very good. 
Number four, I hit someone's car when I was leaving a parking lot. Luckily, no one saw me. What would be the best suggestions? If, if you should have left a uh, note for the owner. Very good. See, you should have uh you should have let a, a note. Where is it? Uh, you should have left a note for the owner, letter F, right? F. Very good. You should have left a note for the owner. And the last one. The last one, sorry. My aunt gave me a wool sweater. I can't wear wool, so I gave it back. Sorry. What would be the best option? G. I will G. have told, told her that I prefer something else. Yeah, probably. I would have told her that I prefer something else. Yes, yes, exactly. Very good. Poor Anne, right? Very good. Perfect. So um, I think that we have understood everything. Now we are going to have an example about listening three people talking about predicaments. You are going to number them and to provide suggestions, right? Vamos a poner quién es el número uno, el número dos y el número tres. Predicament. What is the predicament? Is two people were fighting in the street. A friend lost all her money while traveling. And a friend has a serious shopping problem. So we are going to listen to this. Let me see here. Exercise 4, Listening, Tough Predicaments, Part A, Listen to three people talk about predicaments. Number them from 1 to 3 in the order they are discussed. 1. I just got a postcard from my friend Carrie. She lost all her money on vacation in Europe. Isn't that horrible? Yeah, that's terrible. Jane, what would you do if you were on vacation overseas and you lost all your money in credit cards? I guess I'd call my parents and ask them to send me some money right away. What about you, Bert? Yeah, I'd probably do the same thing. Although, maybe I'd try going to the embassy or consulate to see if they could help me. What about you, Susan? Well, I guess I'd probably sell my watch and camera. Or I might get a job as a waitress somewhere till I made enough money to buy a plane ticket home. Two. You know, I'm really worried about Carol. Why? Well, I think she has a serious shopping problem. Really? Yes, she keeps buying things and putting everything on her credit card. I don't think she realizes how hard it's going to be to pay all the money back. I don't know what to do. What would you do if you discovered a friend had major financial problems? Oh, no question. I'd talk to her about it. Oh, I don't think I would. Why not? Well, because it's really none of my business. I wouldn't tell a friend what to do in that type of situation, so I wouldn't say or do anything about it. Well, I think I'd probably talk to her family about it. It's a personal problem, and... They should try to help her first. Three. You know, I was faced with a tough situation the other day. I was walking down the street and saw two people fighting. It looked pretty violent, but I didn't know what to do, so I just walked away. I figured it was none of my business, but now I think I should have done something. What would you do if you saw two people fighting on the street? I'm not really sure, but I know I'd have to do something. I guess I would call the police. No, that takes too long. I'd try to break it up. But you could get hurt if you did that. 
Well, then I'd try to get someone to help me break it up. In the meantime, I'd shout for someone to call the police. Okay, did you get the situations? Did you have the response? What is number one? Two people were fighting in the street. A friend lost all of her money while traveling. Or a friend has a serious shopping problem. What is number one? A friend lost all her money while traveling. Exactly. A friend lost all of her money while traveling. And what is the best suggestion for that? What was the suggestions? Mm -hmm. What were the suggestions for that friend who lost all her money while traveling? One said they call uh they call to the parents mm -hmm. to send them to send them money, and the other one said uh they yeah uh, he's going to the embassy, so he can travel. Exactly, go to the embassy, call parents or friends, and what was the other suggestion? To get a job as a waitress, I think. To save okay. money until until she can pay the 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 ticket, you, right? That's yeah. The ticket back to her. Yes, is exactly very good. And and the other suggestion was that she could sell her camera or her watch, right, or something that is like valuable. Very good. What was number two? What was number two? A friend has a serious shopping problem. A friend has a serious shopping problem, exactly. And what is the best suggestion for that? ¿Cuál fue la sugerencia para eso? Her friend, uh, her friend called to their family to talk about the problem. Exactly. Probably talk to the family, right? Talk to the family to talk about the problem. Very good. And the last one? Two people were fighting in the street. Exactly. And what was the suggestion for two people were fighting in the street? What is the solution? Call the police. This is the second one. I think the first is uh, the guy said he's tried to broke out the fight, and mm -hmm. in the in the middle time they call the police or something like that. Exactly. Try to uh, separate the people, right? Or uh, try to tell someone to call the police. Exactly. Very good. Perfect. So I. I guess that this will be the last exercise for today. And tomorrow we will have the last the last class. Mañana vamos a tener la última clase porque ya se, terminamos justo con el mes, ¿verdad? So uh, on Wednesday, no classes, right? And on Thursday, no classes. So tomorrow we will have the last class. I think that we will watch a video. And I think that we will um, provide more suggestions, right? Like this, right? Asking for advice and giving advice, right? Vamos a hacer el último role play, eh, que va a ser así de, de dar sugerencias a alguien, de pedir uh, así como situaciones de qué habría hecho usted, que no habría hecho usted. Y we are going to practice the, the pronunciation again, right? For past verbs. And also we are going to have a review. Vamos a, a tener un review de esto, de, las, de los past models. So you can you can uh, remember all of it. Uh, do you have any question, any comment, or any other doubt right now? Preguntas? No questions? No question about the class, but I have a question about the course. Uh -huh. Do you know when is to start the next one or some date or Mm, I guess they, they, they will let you know. Creo que le van a hacer saber, pero supongo que va a ser como en marzo, el 6 de marzo, algo así. 
supongo, I suppose. But uh, yes, you can you can ask them in the group. Ahí pueden preguntar directamente, okay? Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you. Uh, so we are going to finish the class. And tomorrow bring cake, be, bring soda, bring a pizza, because we are going to celebrate because it will be the last class, okay? Have a nice evening, and thank you for being here, okay? Thank you. Good night. Thank, thank you. you. Have a nice night. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow.